Hi everyone, my name is Baron Samadhi the Alchemist and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be discussing how to do a shut up spell, a be quiet spell or keep my name out your mouth type spell. Now, now these spells vary in names and uh, methods, but today I'm going to show you the my method and using and uh, preparing a spell like this. Now, I want to say, I want you guys to be warned that when you do a spell like this, that you really need to be, be sure that this person deserves, you know, to not put your business out there. You, you want to be sure that you're not doing anything to antagonize this person because that kind of breaks the spell. You know, just because you, just because you have the ability to get the, to hush somebody up don't mean that you should, that you, that you just got to. But that's that's not for me to decide. That's for you to decide with your own conscience. But uh, I'll begin. So, when doing a spell like this, the first thing you want to do, you want to take a brown, uh, you want to take a brown paper bag or a piece of brown paper bag, however you say. And what I would like to do, I would like to draw the veve -ve of the deity that I will be invoking to consecrate this spell. As you guys know who watch my channel, I'm a big fan of consecration. Consecration is everything to me. If it don't sit on your altar and marinate, then you're just doing something and it's going to take 10 times as long for it to, to happen. So the, per the, the, the person I'll be using, the, the entity I'll be using to consecrate the spell would be that of Ishu, uh, Ishu Elekba. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a little bit about Ishu Elekba, uh, what most people don't understand, he's, he's the divine messenger and he's He's the uh, deity in the Arisha, in the Ifa pantheon, and I mean in the Ifa spiritual system. He's that he's that guy over uh, karma. And in a notion like this, this is what you will need. You will need something along the lines of karma. You will need somebody karma. If somebody talking trash about you and they're putting your business out there. You want that to come back to them. You're not doing anything to hurt them per se, but you want them to get what what they deserve for speaking false truths about you. So. Now I've taken the liberty of of drawing his veve on the brown. Remember I said you need a brown piece of paper. And throughout this video, I'll be showing you everything you need in order to to do this. And when I do this spell, when you do this spell the proper way, just like it's done using all these ingredients and and oils, I guarantee within less than seven days, this person will be shut up and everything they say will be buffoonish when it comes to you. So. I'm gonna, I'll put this out there. So this right here would be Eshu Elect Boss Veve. I drew two of them for different cultures. I drew one for the uh, Orisha uh, Pantheon within the Ifa. Then I drew one with the Haitian Vodun uh, symbol as far as it go. But no matter which Veve you draw, they're all the same. Now, due to this is an actual spell I'm doing for a friend of mine. And I know she's gonna be watching this. Hey girl, this is your spell. I'm doing it for you. You're, you're a great person. You're great at heart and nobody should be bothering you. And I thank you for trusting me to, to do this for you. So that's that. So I'm going to stop the video right here and I'm going to write down the names, but I'll explain them to you, but I don't want you to see the people name that I'm writing on here. So give me a second. Okay. Now, so I've taken the liberty of writing down the names of the people who I'll be using, uh, who who I'll be use, using this uh, spell, who I'll be basically performing this spell on and for. So with that being said, uh, what you want to do, you want to take that person, you want to take the person name and you want to write each name five times, but you want them to be crossing each other, not six, not seven, not nine. You need it five times because this is representing man. Five is the number of man. So you, uh, you know, you want to make it, you want to write it, write the name five times, uh, one way, which is a person who will be, uh, who will be doing the spell on. And then you want to write it, turn the paper counterclockwise away from you. And you want to write the person who you're doing the spell for or yourself five times crossing. Now in all my spells, when I do a spell like this, I love to utilize coffee. Uh, just a regular old brand. I love to utilize coffee, coffee, gets the senses. All all the deities, they love coffee. So that's what I like to utilize. I like to utilize coffee. And by the way, we'll be using limes. We'll be using limes. 
beautiful, beautiful limes. Limes are always good for, for this type of spell. So now, now that we're using limes, I must add, let me, let me say this right quick. You should always light a white candle and a black candle when doing spiritual work. Uh, it's just the way things supposed to be. You want the, you want the deities to see you, to notice you and to see what you're doing. So now without further ado, here we go. So now I've, I've written my petition. I written the names and the petitions. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start dropping the oils on this paper right here. So the first, the first oil we're going to use, and I'll show them to you. We're going to be using roll opener. I mean, because this is who you're talking to. You're talking to, uh, Elect by Eshu, the God, the the divine messenger, he who is over karma. And if somebody's doing something to you, that's what you're gonna need. Again, I love to use droppers because this oil is very expensive nowadays. And you just go at each corner. One, two, three, four, and just give it five. One for the middle. So that oil right there was roll opener. The next oil. I'll say this for last because that's that that's that one that consecrates it all. So the next oil you want to use is you want to use that bend over. As again, I'm a big fan of bend over. You cannot get these deities to really do anything without using bend over. Bend over is where it's at. The next oil I'm going to use, and this is something that you really, you really should purchase and have on hand, is a confusion oil. Because this is what you want. If somebody's talking about you, and even if they manage to, to say to something about you, what you want, you want their names. You want everything they say to be a lie, to be idiotic, buffoonish when it comes out. You want them to, to not know what they're talking about. You know, you want them to be confused. You know, because you want to shut this, shut this person the fuck up. And last but not least, I got to admit to you guys, this is not this is not a, a good spell to be doing. This is a, a spell that, that we're going to be doing the black arts with. So now we need black art oil. And I'm rushing through this because I want to, I told a friend, I say, you know, it ain't going to take me all day. I say this can be done in 15 to 20 minutes, you know, quick and effective. You know, it, it can be something that can be done in passing. You know, you get up one morning, you decide you, you're going to work one morning, one night, and you say, you know what? I got to put an end to this clown. I'm going to do this. And you do it right before you get up. Take your shower, do whatever. So now the next oil we're going to use, again, we're going to be using Elect Bar, Elect Eshu, Elect Bar. We're going to put some of his oil. You know, we already asked him to open the roads, but now we got to do it. Since my dropper don't want to fit in here, I'm just going to drop some dead directly on him for a corner. One, two, three, four, get them five, boom. Then the next oil I like to use is a hate oil. Because you want this person to feel your vibe. You hate this person. This person is, is doing you dirty. You, you hate they ass. Shit. Hell, I hate them for you. <laughs> so now that we have our oils laid down on top of our babies and our petition and what we're writing in the coffee, which is great. Now, this is waking them up. Now, what you, now what you should do at this point, right now, you should... Get started preparing to put the other ingredients. Now, I want to I want to I want to explain something to you. Patchouli is something that enhances all of your spell work. Patchouli oil, patchouli powder, patchouli shake, which I'm gonna put it on here. This is patchouli shake, and I'm gonna put this on here. Just a little bit, and we just want it to enhance what we're doing. Now, here's another key key ingredient. This is alum. You can get it right at your local store. Alum, it's nothing. It's inexpensive as hell. So, and what alum, alum is something that's bitter, tart. Do you remember the, the candy sour heads I used to put them in your mouth? They was coated with flavored alum. So, you know how they made your jaws lock up. You, you know, you wanted to suck them. So, you just put alum all on here. 
however much you want. That's how I see it. Much alum as you want. So now that we put a little alum on there, I like to do something. Now, this is me. Nobody else has to do this, but this is just something I like to do. I like to add a little seasoning, a little, just a little ground black pepper. A little ground black pepper. You know, you get a little spicy. If they're going to talk, you know they need to pay for it. If they're going to attempt to the, the talk, they're going to need to pay for that. That don't come free. Let me get this right here. I dropped, I dropped my nail. Boom. There we go. That nail is going to come in handy in a few. So now that we have this right here prepared, we got our coffee, our alum, our black pepper, our oils, uh, and we're ready. We're ready. So now we let that sit there and marinate a little bit where we have the line. Nice line. The greener, the better. The tighter, the better. Just a beautiful, beautiful line. And I'm rushing through this because, I, I again, I'm trying to let everybody know that this thing could be done in less than 20 minutes. In less than 30 minutes, you know, just do it and the intent is there. And this is something you don't have to sit on your altar to consecrate because you're already drawing the veve on the partition to which that, that particular entity is going to see and you're going to call them direct. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slice, slice, ha slice halfway through my line. Not all the way, just halfway. Just halfway, sprinkle a little lime juice on there. You know, beautiful, beautiful. So this is what you should get. You should get this right here. The lime is representing that person's mouth. You know, and this, and when you do it like, and you'll see what I'm talking about. When you open it up right here, ah, that's like Pac-Man. You know, open up the mouth, boom. We're going to shut that. So now we set the line right here. All this is going to come together real beautifully. So I set the line right here. So now here's the part. Here's the part of the petition that I also like. So now we have hot peppers. Hot pepper. Because you want, you want, you want what this hot pepper symbolizes. And what all these oils and everything say, you want a person to be uncomfortable if they're talking about you. You want them to second guess it. You want them, you want as much uncomfortable, you want them to feel as uncomfortable as possible if they think they're going to say something negative about you. And when they're feeling uncomfortable, they make rash decisions. They don't think properly. That's where the confusion come in at. And if they're confused, you know, that's when they start sounding like buffoons and they don't know. They just be talking. So we're going to cut a nice little beautiful piece of this hot pepper. Just gonna add it to it. Again, it's, it's beautiful. I love this. I love this. Now, last but not least, what I like to do is I like to take a rusty nail. I know this is controversial. I mean, most people watch these YouTube videos to get a lighthearted way of doing things. Not me. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it all the way and you're gonna be prepared. For what you're doing you got to know so i like to take a rusty nail i like to drag it over drag it over the black candle flame drag it over the black candle flame because you want it hot because this is like a searing hot poker imagine poking somebody's tongue that's talking grime about you you want to you heard that sizzle that's what that's for yeah and you just drop that hot rusty nail in there now you're going to take this and you're going to fold it away from you once counterclockwise away from you you know two counterclockwise away from you three counterclockwise away from you four and get it as small as you can Got to keep on, not to bust it. So now when it's looking like this, this is a petition, a package, because you're asking Eshu, the divine messenger, to take this to, to the crossroad for you and lock their damn jaws where they can't say shit about you. Now, this is not done yet. 
So now, what else we gonna do? Gonna take this and we're gonna seal it. That's right. We're gonna wrap it so damn much till none of this comes out. We don't want any other paper to be showing. Most people don't do it like this, but I do. Again, my grandma taught me a lot. And her stuff worked really good. People used to come to her. And she used to be performing these type of things for people. And I used to be like, what grandma am I doing talking to this old lady or this old man? And they end up laughing and they throw some money around for her. And uh, I'm like, grandma nuts. But, you know, as I grew up and she started talking to me, she, she let me know what she was doing. So after you put your oil, your nail, and everything, this should be your finished result. This is how your petition to them should look. Again, this brown paper represents their tongue. You're sealing their tongue. You're shutting their tongue. You're putting nasty shit in their mouth. So this is how you do it. And I'm trying to speed up here because I said that I could do this. <laughs> but I like to babble and talk a little bit. So now what we do, we want to take this and we want to shove it in there. We're going to force their mouth open. See, if they got so much to say, let's give them something to talk about. Something that they can't handle. So we just rip the damn mouths open. It's painful. You want to talk? It's a, it's a painful process. Ah, close them up. That's right. Close them up in there. Close their ass up in there. Get them in there. See? Now they're chomping on their petition. They're biting their own tongue. You get it? Don't bite your tongue. If you got something to say, you tell them, bitch, don't bite your tongue. Say it. But they can't say it because their mouth is full. Now, this is the part where I really like. I really like this part here. We're going to take a crochet needle. And you know what we're going to do with that needle, right? So what I've done, I've threaded my crochet needle. And again, yep, if you're watching this, you're, you know what we're going to do. We're going to seal this mofo mouth shut. So grab your line and just start. I got to be extravagant. You're just going to seal this person's mouth shut. There was an old show back in the day called Dr. Giggles, where he was just, he used to do a little work on himself. And, uh... I seen the way he did now. I thought that was kind of insane because this, this dude went through some pain. It's going to come out looking real beautiful. You want to seal their mouth shut. Keep this in their mouth. So I'm not going to seal the whole thing on camera. I'm going to pause the camera for a second. And when I come back, you guys will see the finished result. Okay, thanks for thanks for that, little uh, fam. So now this is how your lime should you should look, and depending on the severity of how angry you is at the person and everything. You might want to take your time and just spend a lot more thread closing the mouth, sealing the mouth shut. And again, this is all you got to do. This is the finished result. How it should look. Now the last stage in all this is something I like to call, you know, putting a seal on it. And for this, we're going to take the black candle. And again, this is an old Bayesian way of doing things. I mean, from each culture, it varies. But this is the old Bayesian way of doing things. And what we like to do, we like to drip that wax all over here and seal that person's mouth shut. You know, we want it to be shut. We don't want this person to say another word about us. You know, keep your name, keep my name out your mouth. That's what this spell about. If you think about talking about me, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you. You want this person to shut the hell up? Stop fucking with you. Stop snitching on you on your job. Stop telling your, your spouse every little single thing. If you got a friend, be a friend. If you're an enemy, be an enemy. Show yourself. You know, you're going to seal this up. Yeah, don't be afraid. Some people use the entire candle. 
Me, I won't. You know, some people go hard. They, I mean, those are the people that's really stressing. People are causing them their job, their finances, you know, just ruining their lives. Nosy neighbors. Uh, a friend of mine, Department of Children and Families, was called on her. And she had to do this to hush the person up because the person just didn't want her there anymore. Because she lived in a great neighborhood and she had, you know, her kids were kind of rough. And she was just lying, lying on her, telling the thing, though. She don't feed the kids, she doing this, and when they come out and investigate and everything be okay, and it just, it just got out of hand to where she asked me to do a spell like this, and I'm telling you, man, it worked. That person stopped talking, DCF came, she, everything she was saying, she was falling all on her words, stumbling and everything, and it just worked out pretty well, you know, for my client. So, that right there, fam, this right here, is how it should look. It's not pretty, by far, but it's effective. And before I get to the end of this, I like to, I like to do one more thing to it. I mean, when I say, when I do this, I do this. So I would like to take three nails. One. Two. Three. It doesn't look pretty, but it looked like, looked like a bitch won't be able to say nothing bad against you. So now, after now, now that we've done this, I like to take a Ziploc bag, and I like to put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. Okay, now we're about to conclude this spell. And when we conclude this spell, I like to do something again. I don't even want, and this is just something that was, was taught to me in the recent thing that I put my own spin on it because it's just something. I like to take this, and I like to wrap it in tin foil. Now, wrapping it in tin foil is going to cut out all communication. So now we can stop somebody from speaking about us bad. But what about typing? We live in a te technological age. So we don't want no communication to come out about us. People posting things on social media about us, uh, sending emails to our bosses. We want to stop all that. So now what the Luminum 4 do, we're going to block any electronic, block them from sending anything electrical, any electrical mag uh, messages. Remember when I told you when you do a spell like this, you need to really do a spell like this. We don't play around. We don't play around with it. We need to stop all communication. All communications in a negative light. From emails, we work in a corporate world. People send emails. People send videos, text messaging, screenshots. We need to stop all that. And what we do, we just wrap a black string around it, form it in the shape of a cross. So, one second, please. Now everybody, this is the finished result. Didn't take long, didn't take much material. Now after that, now what I like to do, I just like to take a Ziploc bag, drop it in the Ziploc bag, boom. Get the air out of it. Seal it. And this is going in the freezer. Immediately put it in the freezer. And say Psalms 140. I, I encourage you to read the entire Psalms 140, but uh, you can say various bits and pieces about let burning coals fall on them, you know, let, let the mischief of their own lips burn on, fall on them like burning coals and all that stuff, let everything they say be buffoonish, but read Psalms 140 as you get done with this or during the whole time you're doing this and throw it in the freezer and every day just read some, just state Psalms 140. If you don't read the whole verse, read portion of it. Just send that intent. And I guarantee within seven days that person will be that person will be so docile and humble, you you would know what hit you. 
So that spell was pretty quick. That spell was pretty rushed. So again, I would like to say I'm Baron Samadhi the Alchemist. And this is my shut the fuck up spell. Leave me alone spell. Keep my name out your mouth spell. Whatever you want to call it. Stop, stop harassing me. Stop stalking me. Stop lying on me spell. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you fit. This is the spell that I just did. And it's a beautiful spell. Quick smell. It's quick spell. I, I love it myself. So at the end of the day. So now that we've come to complete this spell, I want to let I want to thank you guys for watching my channel, for watching this spell. If you have any comments or questions, or you would like this spell done for you, I can send you a personal uh, video of me doing the actual spell for you directly. Email to your email to let you know that this is something serious and that uh, this is not a one shot fit all thing. It, I go on your likes and dislikes, but without further ado, hey, if you like what you saw, you know, click the like button. If you if you're feeling it, I mean, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you really, really have anything you'd like to say to me, comment. I can be reached at axbaronsamadi.alchemy at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and thanks again for patronizing my channel. And remember, trust the you and universe because at the end of the day, that's all you have. Have a great one, y'all.